Welcome to step 17, part three. Uh, obviously at the drill press here, and we're drilling four holes using the number eight countersink. And the number eight countersink uh, corresponds to the number eight screw, which uh, we will receive in a later step. And uh, so what I have here is you, know, uh, you wanna make sure that you uh, set up the uh, depth stop, so the top of the collar when it comes into the table, that the collar stops at the, a little bit more here, the collar stops right at the top of the wood, like so, so it doesn't drill anything past there. So what we're going to do now here is, actually, I'm going to place my drill bit on the on the hole there. I've got my spindle lock in place and I'm just going to, even though this might be a little overkill, I'm still going to clamp it down to ensure that this moves as little as possible. So I bring it in here and I want to bring it down until that does that. And then I'm going to Actually, in this case, just to hurry this video along, I'm going to do it without the clamp. Come in here. Now that. Third hole. And then finally, the fourth hole. And then you'll notice you possibly have a little, some little burrs on the back from the wood. You want to sand those off with 220. And then just to show you uh, right here, these holes, countersink holes, will receive a uh, plug at a later date when we drill it. So remember to have your depth stop set up and your depth stop set up until it, the collar hits the top of your wood. If you're unsure, have the teacher check it out. And that concludes step 17, part 3.